In college, I lived really close to my grandparents' house, so they gave me a key and told me to stop by any time. So don't worry about calling. So I did. Oh, no. <laughs> my grandma was giving my grandpa a... Shake it up. Uh, 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 yeah. The Martini boys. The Martini boys. Now pour yourself a drink. What is up, guys? It is Bruins time. It is playoff season. It's when boys become men. It's Matt's favorite word. Matt. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say sport. Hockey. The big bad Bruins lost game two, right? Yeah. So we're on to game three. We won the first one and lost Gentlemen, one at home and now. They're going to win Killer tonight. Killer first. The Bruins They're going to win tonight. Let's go, baby. Cheers. And it just never gets better. That one was better. Actually, you're actually kind of right. It goes down better when you're on camera. Well, Canada, we Getting whooped them. 5-1. Sorry, go. Nope, go. The whole the whole country? The whole country, no. <laughs> no, we're, we're going. <laughs> they need to war. be stopped. <laughs> for, the sports, for the sports peeps, you know what's going on. For people who don't watch sports, we crushed them the first game. We were pretty close the second. So we're in Canada tonight. We're looking forward to it. And it's Wing Wednesday. We aren't in Canada, but the Bruins are. It can't get the game's better. in Canada. How did they land I'm the bees excited. for boys? Dude, how did they land the plane on all that maple syrup? I don't know. I think they got stuck. Dude, all that caribou and maple syrup. It was Ooh, a slippery. Uh, <laughs> and then when you land, they go, oh, sorry. It was. I mean, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, story. So I guess I no, didn't. it's not story. It's I didn't pronounce story. it enough. <laughs> story. Dude, Bertuzzi, Bertuzzi uh, that was on, he was on Bruins last season. And, like, we just watched, we were together for Monday's game. And, like, I never really got into him much. He, how long he was on Bruins? One year? They, we, no, not even. We picked okay. him up for the playoffs just to be a tough guy. Okay. Yeah, so, like, he just pisses me off. <laughs> so and now he's on choose, Toronto. Yeah. He's, like, whacking at Marshan's legs. Like, he's just playing. Oh, you got to go He's been a hockey Marshan. player, you know? Oh, yeah. If you get under Marshan's skin, it can get He's ugly. not. I mean, he's. Someone, who was it? Um, McCabe was trying to get under Marshan's skin at the beginning of the game. Yeah. yeah. He was, like, hacking at like, literally hacking at him and to the point where the ref came over and was, like, cut the shit. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, game Marshan just kept start. it cool. Wow, that's surprising for him. But I guess he's a captain. He's, he's yeah, yeah and he's up. been in the league for so long. I mean, I watched him in the 2011 the Stanley team. Cup when I was in high school I think that serving was his pizzas. Second year, or either yeah. 2009 or 2010, he started with the Bruins. It was either his second or third year. Yeah, so he was like a you know rookie, you know, just low level guy. Now he's captain. He's it's always had some impressive. skill, and he does have a lot of skill. But unfortunately, this year has been a slump year, and it's the first year without Bergeron by his side, who's a, also his best friend. So Tom Bergeron, Tom Bergeron, <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> 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 that works too. Oh, look at those buys, dude! I can tell you, you're looking good, man. Been look working out. I mean, tries. Those I mean, you may nowhere near where I want to be, but uh, you sick, look great. Sick Thanks. quadriceps, dude. Thanks, dude. I've been hitting the home gym. Nice just, calves. Well, <laughs> Bertuzzi chews on that friggin' mouth guard, and just, that always just like Kachuk or yes. I can't stand when people do it that. It drives me nuts. <laughs> they yeah, pan over like, to him. He's just yeah. chewing. Give him a piece of. Rubber. Or something. Give him the tough. puck, man. Give him some public on the puck. <laughs> like it's it, it's like a dude. Like he's he's like trying to show off like some attitude and sass. He's like, oh, you know, give him some double yeah. bubble and show him. The yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I had a dog growing up that would come over to our house when we were playing on our hockey rink, and he'd chew our pucks to death. Give yeah. him a freaking puck, man. You had a dog growing up, and he came over to your house sometimes. No, no, no. There was a dog in our neighborhood <laughs> oh. that would come <laughs> to our house when we were uh -oh. on the skating rink, and uh, and he would chew our pucks. So we had to kind of keep him away from him. Well, I know we had a nip, but can you fill my glass with something, man? I know you got a little surprise for us. I do. So, guys, you we're drinking that. Let's let's use what do uh, one uh, what, 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 <laughs> do one through six. One through six. Is there one a six? Six? A sixer? A sixer? This the, one. Wait, got what's one the martini through glass? Through six. The martini glass is a one. Okay. okay. Sorry. The or the TMB is probably a three. Because it's three letters. Who got these dice? What an idiot. There's not even real this numbers. Guy named Pang Guy? Pang Guy? Pa Pangy. Pang Guy? Well, we're using them tonight. <laughs> I'm doing this live uh, live on the pod right now. I'm answering a... Uh, I'm helping my mom out. I'm answering a uh, marketplace, Facebook marketplace. She's selling a Pilates machine. Give me one second. Go here. for it, dude. Who's, that seems who's, like a priority. Who's asking for it? <laughs> huh? I said, that seems like a priority. <laughs> who's well, who's asking for the uh, She's Pilates coming tonight. Machine. That's why. Uh, okay. a, girl's, a girl's picking it up. 
Oh. All I'm saying is, no, that's bow, fine. Bow. She has, she has, she has code <laughs> for something. No, is her to... name Lexi? No, actually. It's, oh, okay, it's Lauren. Okay. So <laughs> it's not a code for anything. No. It's totally clean. Just helping my mom out, you know. It was just, it was just a confirm pickup. Yeah, of course. Pilates machine. Isn't yeah. It? So uh, your mom does Pilates? Or I did? thought Pilates? She got it like seven years ago oh, and wow. just never used it. But dude, she got it for about 450 Hey, man. Can Cook I your poison. It? Yeah. I mean, you might as well drink something since we're not drinking anything. She got it for like four fifty, <laughs> and now they're going they're going for like almost six hundred bucks on Amazon. So. Wow! And wow. it's it, dude, it's mint. Thanks, Obama. Mint, mint, <laughs> mint condition. Is it menthol mint? No. <laughs> At Doctor McGillicuddy's, <laughs> feel better. Yeah. All right. Well, we're we're going deep in the alcohol already. So as everyone who has been watching knows, we have tried Buzzball, which has got a, which got us pretty messed up. We've tried, uh, what was the, uh, On the Rocks cocktails. We've d- been doing McGillicuddy's. We've done um, Four Locos. Am I missing? Baby Go Loco. A- any We've done a other lot Other than drinks. like normal martinis that you made. No, no, I mean like there. the box. But yeah, brand ones. names, that's it. All right. Those three. Well, another potential sponsor. Bud What's up? Light. <laughs> Bud Heavy. Beatbox, beatbox. <laughs> unts, 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 unts. Oh, oh, what those? are these? What are those? Let me see this thing. We got Beatbox, 11.1%. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen welcome to Beatbox. I'm your host, what? Captain other, Jax. Other than Boda Box, I've never seen alcohol come in like a box. Yeah. So these are these are hitting the stores, hitting the markets. <laughs> this After is f- great. Yeah. So um, <laughs> these are new. These These have been hitting... All your local stores, gas stations. It's it's like the new buzz buzz ball, really. How did you hear about these TikTok? Is it probably? wine? Uh, TikTok. I actually had one at my sister in law's. Um, it was terrible from what I remember, but <laughs> oh yeah. But uh, but honestly, I only took a sip, and I don't think it was this flavor. Is it wine? No, nope. Um, so let's crack one. We're of gonna these. try it out. So roll the dice. What do we got? Yeah, so we got fruit punch. Juicy mango and what's that one? This is blue raspberry. This Ooh, is I'm gonna bet I'm this is one. the best one. I All right, so it. let's do it last. So Oaks. these, uh, it says try us or try me on the on the box. It says try me frozen. So there's three more of these, same selection. I noticed they're like the room freezer. temperature. Well, that's why I put the <laughs> ice, ice. So we always get the ice. So <laughs> Danny didn't right. want ice today. So I didn't want ice. Sorry, right. <laughs> he can give us the. Let's go with what we think the worst. Juicy mango. That just sounds weird. Yeah, let's so take let's, a little. Let's little do little it. Sipsky, I don't yeah. know if you're even supposed to. This reminds me of like a protein. We shape. we rolled for juicy mango. If you missed that, that's right, Pangy. <laughs> Well, Dude, yeah, we, we you think of you every day, out. every time. We, we have your dice. We're always here. So let me just do like a high-level review. I love it. 11.1%. Yeah. That's pretty good. Um, it says gluten-free, glass-free. At so first I thought it said grass-free. You know, all these Gen Zers you never know. hate grass. Um, 130 calories, 8 grams of carbs. That's not bad. It's a low-carb drink. I don't know what the sugar oh. is, but... That's per per five per five ounces. This uh, so this, this color does not make me excited. Line them up. If you want to see, this is the juicy mango. It's looking <laughs> it's looking like our logo actually. Okay, hold it up over there, Danny. Without the oh, ice, it looks just like the logo. Go for it. Huh? It looks just like the logo, the color. Miss White. It does. That's uh that's not enticing. <laughs> it it kind of looks like Red Bull. It looks like apple juice to me. Let's take a sip. Let's All take right, a sip. Let's do it. Got to do the ceremonial cheers. That's right. Go bruise. Go bruising. This is Bruins color. Okay. I take it back. That's delicious. This, to me, tastes like, tastes like a it. freeze pop <laughs> that is just melted. Warm and melted. You know the it's freeze pops sweet. that you haven't? <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> do you? <laughs> we have, like, the opposite taste buds. I know we do. I, I like really don't it. like Maybe because it. you don't have ice. You want to try mine with ice? I also just had a menthol mint. So mint and so then mango... <laughs> Yeah, but I just had one more recently. <laughs> okay, I just had one five minutes ago. Let me just... All right. I, let didn't, it, let I didn't do let my sniff sit. test, dude. No. That's my problem. It's pretty good, Because really what happens when you sniff is you're you're kind of like getting your body ready for what's coming. There's no smell, which is weird. Well, so sniffing also helps you taste. No, there's a little bit of a smell. You got to get you? down nice right. down and low. It's probably because we have ice. You get it? You get it? Oh, I get it. You in there? Yeah, you got to get in there, very, dog. Very, very, very slight smell, I will say. That's probably the 100% for, from an Alex review. 
the freeze pops you buy that are all liquid and you throw them in your freezer at home, that's what it is. It's the juice from. From which one? Like yellow freeze pops or whatever. Without those no, things. but which one? There's different flavors and colors. Oh, um, it's always not blue or red. So orange, orange, orange for sure. Orange, yeah. yeah, I, I kind of taste yeah, a peach. I can see that. I, I yeah, kind of take a peachiness, but I honestly, my my honest review out of a ten, I give this like uh, seven point nine. Like, like you like would it. crush it by the pool. That's oh, their yeah. whole I would, thing. I would drink the whole okay. thing. Okay, by, by the pool. I was going to ask because oh, it really it depends says. on what circumstance you're in. It you says know? it says beatbox. Like, um, sorry, beatbox, if I'm quoting you wrong, but I know like their like slogan on the box that I bought. There was a pool party pack. Yeah, and it World's was like tastiest party punch. Like you would have go. punch during right. the summer. Like about it, it's very the taste. faint. It's very really? like it's not a strong taste. I know. I think it's because I can taste the sugar content in it. It is very syrupy. It's and syrupy. Ice, you're kind of. Uh, that could yeah. be it. Maybe it is better served frozen. It is. You know? So <laughs> they said, yeah, it says right on the box, try us frozen, which they're in there for next time. So we're we're gonna do a round two. We're gonna do like slushies. Yeah. Well, oh, on yeah. the next one, we'll try blue raz. I'll and throw if I don't if like I it, oh, we're trying it tonight. Huh? Oh yeah. We're no, no, that's what I mean. Oh yeah. On the next round, so. If I don't like the blue raz, that'll tell you that it's just a temperature thing. Because I'm be. at room temperature. I feel here. bad. I know. No, it's okay. Don't feel bad. I I'm mean, ready. it's sit. The boxes were sitting uh, room temperature, so obviously you can polish that off. Let's get to it. No, no, yeah. no, no. We gotta do fruit punch first. Oh, we're next. gonna. Because uh, <laughs> bl- I thought you just said you want to do blue raz next. No, he said that would be the best, right? Or did you want to do that next? That's what he well, said. Let's save this for last. <laughs> yeah, because I said think it was the best. Will. I think it will be the best. All right. I'm willing to bet, dude. This literally, like from Costco, premium protein or whatever that brand is, it's the same exact box. Or same exact cartons. Cocoa, lo- <laughs> cocoa water, Cocoa Loco water, or whatever it's called. I just love how they're packaging Uh-oh. it like this now to make it. It reminds me of a healthy. juice box. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> what, is, uh, what do these Capri go for? Uh, so for just one is three ninety nine, and for the whole pack of six was... Twelve bucks. That's not bad. So twelve ninety nine. I think two bucks. The, two uh, bucks each. Does it say the sugar content in these? Because like, yeah. Check it out. Health wise, I'm sure this is better. It's but like eight grams per five if ounces. If I was going to buy alcohol, I'd buy a four loco over that. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. So they <laughs> instead of saying like Best Buy or when it was made, they they used the word born <laughs> when this was born. Jason 01, born. Oh one sixteen twenty three. Damn, what, the beginning of last year. That's when it was bottled. That's what it says. Oh one one six two three. I'm assuming January sixteenth of twenty three. These, these I've never seen "born" written on something. I know that must stand for something. Well, well, best or or really not. Really not. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Best or really do the pours. No. Nope. Well, I looked this up. So now we're trying the fruit punch. Well, I'm not fruit making punch. it, old boys. Yeah. There's a good chance I stay here for a couple of hockey periods. <laughs> I'm staying here until overtime. Some water. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, no. uh, yeah. They uh, they just kind of came out of nowhere. Austin, Texas. I don't think you're going to like it. No? It's pretty bad. I don't know why I poured it and but didn't even go think go to, take a, to take a sip. I tried it. So It's not good. So the beatbox is a low calorie and low sugar drink. It's pretty seven, bad. It's seven grams. You almost need to mix this it's seven with grams. vodka. <laughs> you know, do twenty yeah. percent vodka, eighty percent this, and it would be pretty good. It's pretty gross. Try it. All right, I'm icing it up. I'm giving it like a this two point really, three out of ten. <laughs> this is really a melted lollipop. That, it really is. Except yeah, it tastes like chemicals. Yeah, but lollipops we're giving we're giving you an honest too. review here. Or, this is this is uh, ice pops. Yeah, so do you like it? I do, but um, yeah, I don't think this one's as bad as the first one. It's giving me a slight cough syrup taste. But, yeah, uh, it's tasting like medicine. But you You're know, right. during Valentine's <laughs> Day, the heart lollipops, yeah, shape, with the white, yeah. the white like thing. That's what it tastes like to me. Yeah, I mean, we I gotta, like the we mango. Gotta, we gotta, we can't, we can't give up. We gotta try these frozen. And, yeah. I, and if I need to, I'll shred them up in our in our blender and do like um. Like yeah, shred it up, shred it up. I'm not gonna lie, boys. It's getting better. Yeah, I entered phase two of of buzz <laughs> right after taking this sip. <laughs> so I don't know if there's something extra in this one, but you know, phase one, you're just kind of you know, you feel a little. It's 11. percent You feel good. With the yeah, ice, 11%. it's a little bit maybe diluted. It's tasting better as a, as time goes on. Give it, but give it a chance. I like this, the mango better. This will be the best. I think it's gonna be our saving grace. I can 
I, think I so. can tell you this because everything blue raspberry flavored people like. Yes. You know? I it love could be blue gum. Raspberry. It could be bacon. Blue raspberry is not even. Is it real? Are there blue raspberries? Whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't think so. I guess you call that a blackberry. No. <laughs> it's not blackberry flavors. Blue raspberry. <laughs> but you get like you get blue ras for Jolly Rancher flavors. Oh, you got the, the Four Loco. Yeah. You got all these drinks. So I think I think even blue raspberry is uh, at like Seven Eleven for the slushies. Oh yeah, that blue raspberry blue four has. loco though was kind of sour. I like the warhead one better. So that's yeah. that's part of their sour collection. They also have a, I forget the name of it, but something else edition, and it comes with gold, which I'm thinking might be like a pineapple-y flavor. Mm. Uh, mm. The Peter USA like loco, that. the USA loco, which is that bomb pop flavor. We'll have to we'll have to revisit that. Absolutely, we got to do the the bomb pop one. So my 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 little game, if you will, was while we do these taste tests, I was I was gonna get like five of a flavor of like a drink I found, but these these came in packs of three. So I'm just still gonna write these, not write, read these. They're just like super awkward situations, and mm. so the point I'm reading these is that we'll agree if we would have reacted the same, or how would we have, how would we have. Uh, Reacted, I guess, for these situations. Buzz two. <laughs> stage two. <laughs> stage two uh, Phase muffler. Phase two. Phase two. <laughs> <laughs> Not stage. We can't be staging yet. Because the last time we were on a stage, you know what happened? Fell off. You got thrown no. up on. <laughs> you got thrown up on, my friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, yes. You like how I did that? That I was did. nice. I I'm did. proud of myself for that one. I Uh-oh. did. This will, this will Danny's be. about to sh- start shadow boxing. <laughs> this, will be, this will be quick. I mean, hey. We get a nice, nice screen and take it as our worst option. At least. <laughs> <laughs> Does that even make sense? A nice screen, take our worst option. You got it. He has entered phase three. I think he's entered Shit. phase five. <laughs> stage three, brown out. Stage three. You know, stage one, like you feel pretty good. And so we're back to like, stages from phases. Yeah, yeah. I just need to go back to the <laughs> Shit. stages, right? He said, uh, I don't even know. Dang it. We're back to the phase. <laughs> oh. Phase one, you feel good. You've had a couple drinks. You know what I mean? Phase two. You you feel a little different. Your feet start to tingle. I think you know, I'm just starting to like hallucinate a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't eaten since since lunch. So that'll that, do it. Same. That absolutely is is contributing. That'll propel you into the next phase. <laughs> Let, let's skip see phase if, um, two. <laughs> Go back three phases. <laughs> do not pass no. <laughs> phase one. Do not collect two hundred. Yeah, we got We got to read these stories. I think it's the time now. Okay, I think we're feeling it. All right. So these are from Reddit. There's only five of them. Uh, just super, super awkward uh, uh, situations. <laughs> oh All right. In college, I lived really close to my grandparents' house, so they gave me a key and told me to stop by any time. Don't worry about calling. So I, I did. This is you. <laughs> <laughs> what? I would love that, dude. Yeah. I think he wrote this, but keep going. Okay. It was me. <laughs> so don't worry about calling. So I did. Oh, no. <laughs> my grandma was giving my grandpa a bead in the living room. I always call now. It's been oh. 10 years. My grandma's favorite marriage advice is to keep it spicy. More power to them, I guess, but I'll never get that image out of my head. Oh, wow. Like, what would you do if you showed up to your grandparents' house and saw that? I, I think I would just go home. I'm sweating. You know what? I'm I sweating. think I would cheer them on. <laughs> I'd be like, you know, well done. You're, you're keeping it going. So you'd stay and watch? No, I wouldn't stay and watch, but I'd, I'd give them a... you turn a around? Of, I'd give them a clap, and then I would uh, I'd walk out. I'd, well, I'd ask for some meatballs first, and then I'd go home. Little spaghetti and meatballs. Say, Grammy, you got any spaghetti and meatballs in the fridge? Your poor grandpa, dude. You're going to stop that? <laughs> <laughs> He's deaf, man. He doesn't know. Yeah, that's not... I mean, you're, ta- you're, talk- you're, talking about, you're talking about meatballs. There's a lot going on. Yeah, I, I think I would just be like, oh, uh, 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 I'll come back later. You know, do you need something from the store? I'll be right back. That's is that an American accent? Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. American I'll be right back. A- American, ba- <laughs> American accent. <laughs> All right, here's another one. I've, uh, I, yeah. did a, I did a little review, too, because I know. diddled a little review? I diddled a little review. Okay. Just because. Just Poor be- little review. <laughs> 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 All right, so I was at a Starbucks on my commute, waiting for my drink, and people watching. Uh, which is fun to do sometimes. I watched the young mother and her toddler clearly just started standing, holding onto the back of the chair and had this silent moment of being charmed by them. 
The mother took her foot off the bottom rung and stood up to get a stir stick and whop, that's how it's spelled, W-H-A-P. The child went slamming face first into the floor. Mm. There was another moment. Love of to sp- see that. <laughs> Love to see that. Kids got to learn. Kids getting hurt. That's a whole. <laughs> They're made page. out of rubber. Yeah. There was a moment of <laughs> silence and then screaming. There was a splatter of blood, panic, and the mother screaming for an ambulance. Overreaction. Overreaction, you think? If there was a pool of blood, maybe? No, there's a splatter of blood, not oh, a pool. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, if there's a pool, that'd be one thing. Blood splattered into the local coffee pool. I mean, I could sneeze and blood might come out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I brushed my teeth, dude, and it's like a massacre. <laughs> so this really good gums. I might need to get diet checked. The <laughs> <laughs> this is which this is the part that like gets awkward. So after all of this commotion and falls on the face, there's blood. The person that wrote this starts laughing. <laughs> So it was completely uncontrollable. I wasn't finding anything funny. I was completely horrified, and yet I couldn't stop flat out goffawing. What the hell is that? But would that not be Go- us? Like I'd be laughing too. I think. I mean, if, yeah. Especially if, if I was, was like, whoa, whoa. with you. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I saw that. I'd I'd, I'd probably have to like go hide in the bathroom and laugh. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I, mean, I follow a page on Instagram called Kids Getting Hurt. Oh yeah. That's what I was just saying. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean. To, to wrap it up, I mean, it was, it was a horrible experience or a horrible situation, but, it, like, the woman's face, the mother's face was, was terrified, and she's just laughing, and then basically says it's the easily the most ex- uh, awkward experience of my life. I have no idea what the heck happened. So this kid just, like, ate shit and in a Starbucks, bleed, starts bleeding, and then you just... He's probably mad about the prices, up. dude. The I kid know. probably saw the price and passed out. He's like, Mom, you're spending $8 on an iced coffee? You kidding me? I could have had that toy in aisle 32. Yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. Dude, you are dripping. Am yeah. I dripping? I can see sweat dripping down your neck. It's hot. He needs some blue raz. It is a whopping... I think that's... Oh, it's loading weather, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> he needs blue raz, folks. I think you agree. I don't know I don't know why. I. So, obviously, like, I'm on a, I'm on a medication because of my surgery and stuff, and I, I definitely think it makes me more hot. Mm, makes yeah, me sweat and stuff. So too. But um, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm usually I'm pretty dripping. Hot, but you're dripping. I'm dripping. So. I have a hard time looking at you, man. I just get the tingles. <laughs> Where? <Of> what? <laughs> In my armpits. Because I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Love tingly armpits. Stand well, tingling open. armpits. That's phase five. Be careful. Oh. You've already skipped phase four. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the beatbox. Give me the beatbox to free my so. tongue. I want oh. the blue raz and some rock and roll. Speaking of phase five, yeah, I believe my brother and my friend hit phase five Uh-oh. at my bachelor party. Let's Ooh. hear it. So that was this past weekend. We went to Mohegan Sun, had to gamble, but we saw- Mohegan's a good time. We saw yeah. our fan favorite office character, Todd Packer, live oh, nice. at the Comics Roadhouse. He's got to be old now. Yeah, he, he, he was looking old. I was like, all right, he's aged. He's but wicked I mean, funny, though. The office- that was that started in what two thousand five or something like that. Ended in two thousand thirteen, I think. So, you know, it's been a good ten years. But he was still very funny. But the problem was, <laughs> where where you know there were probably three hundred people in that in that place. Wow. And That's we were good. you know ten rows back, and all of a sudden one of my friends and my brother they just start yakking wicked loud for no reason, like just, throwing up. No, no, no. Just talking to oh, each oh. other. <laughs> oh, because yakking. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yak, yak, yak. Yeah, yeah. But, and so... <laughs> Never heard that before. David Koshner, <laughs> who is Todd Packer, okay. stops the show. <laughs> he stops the show. And we're about 30 minutes well, in Were point. they talking to each other or like, to, like talking yeah. to him? Yeah, no. Tyler and my brother were talking to each other. And they were just so loud that all of a sudden <laughs> everybody in the crowd is looking at them. People are looking at them from, you know, in front of us being like, yo, shh, be quiet, be quiet. So he stops the show and he just humiliates them. <laughs> like he's just like, you know, can I can I keep going on with the show? Like, you know, and he's looking right at them. Probably a solid two minutes of just talking to them directly. And it's super what was awkward. he talking to them about? Like, was he just like making fun of them? Yeah, he was making fun of them. He was like, at one point, he like closed his eyes. He was like, duh, <laughs> like do you want to go to the club now? I'm just sick of this comedy show. Is that what they were talking about? No. But he was just th- mocking them, or yeah, joking? I don't. He was just mocking. What, them. what were they? Uh, what were they like yelling or like talking about? I don't know, because I was like four people away from them, 
But, but they're loud enough for the whole club to hear them. But yes, and for them. him to stop the show. So I thought we were going to get kicked out. Luckily, we didn't. They are quiet for the rest of the time. If we could continue on I didn't know night, that he did like stand-up. Yeah, no, he does. He does do stand-up. He had another guy with him who wasn't as funny, but his act was really funny. He did some office quotes and stuff like that. But yeah, the women in the crowd didn't like him very much, though, because his office character yeah. was very like sexist. sexist. So, you know, he made a lot of jokes about women like not doing a lot and complaining and stuff. So he didn't he wasn't a a crowd favorite from the okay. from the female side. But he was still still funny. Yeah. Was it like half and half uh audience wise or more guys than girls? Half and half, because okay. a lot of people were there on Bring dates, dates and stuff. Yeah. 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 But he went around the room at one point. Like he came off the stage and walked around the room and just started roasting people. So I mean, that that's, was good. that's the crowd that's, interaction. Yeah. Yeah, a little crowd interaction. Um, but everybody in the crowd was like lit. Do you know who? You uh, tell. Do you know who Neil Brennan is? No, he's a comedian. He actually wrote the Chappelle Show and some of that. But, oh uh, snap! He's got three specials on Netflix, and a new one just came out. It's so funny. You guys got to check it out. What's his kind of like to. go-to joke? Like, what's his that he's like? Depressed. That he's depressed. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of his thing. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of comedians are depressed. Yeah. yeah. So. He's like, I'm Does not it kind of have like a so. mono, more monotone voice? Kind of like, uh, I hate life. Uh, kind of sometimes. <laughs> yeah. But you, you just got to check him out. He's We watched the other day and it was it's funny. pleasantly surprised. That's good. Hip, Is it me blue up with some blue Yeah, let's get, let's get to uh, the blue Raz. Let's do it. Let's get straight to phase eight. Does it say to shake these? <laughs> phase eight. No, it doesn't. Because <laughs> all the soberness is at the bottom, so I won't shake <laughs> Don't them anymore. Don't shake them. Okay. We don't want that. Should I mix? No. I'm just no. Kidding. You should probably chug that and we'll uh, top yeah, this Yeah, I'll off. chug this. Here we go. Ready? All right. This smells... Dude, you said Blue ran- uh, blue Raspberry Jolly Rancher. That's, That's exactly, exactly what it smells, it smells like. like. Here we go. I'll wait for you guys. I don't know what's in this. Why am I sweating so much? Like Jesus I said, Christ. I'm phase three. Yeah. That's so it? You don't have to. No, you have to. <laughs> the sniff test. It smells, doesn't it smell like Jolly Ranchers? Oh my God. Let's get it. Hurry up. I you ever <laughs> seen those things where um, it's like people who inhale alcohol fumes to get drunk? Yes. It's like vapors, right? Yeah, it's like an alcohol vape <laughs> system. It's so stupid. I think it was on Shark Tank and like they all denied it or something. I saw someone send me a snap today actually of like uh, alcoholic like whipping, like whips. Like you, oh, like, like cool. Cream? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Why does yours look like that? I think you put some in with red. Maybe. But yeah, yours is like really That's a clear. nice color. America. <laughs> it's like purple. That's a very nice color. Here we go. Number three. Yup. That's good. I t- dude, you said you also said- This uh, is my least favorite one. Really? Well, you're also I'm not mixed. saying look it's bad. The, look at the color of yeah, yours yeah, compared yeah, to true. us. I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad, just my least. I, I honestly really enjoyed the juicy mango and the fruit punch. Okay. But I like the mango, then mango this. Mango the most. And then, then this, the fruit punch. This one is the most that, again, it's it's room temperature. And it's because I got it before the, the show. So, sorry. But we'll try it frozen. But uh, this has a little more of that chemically flavor. It reminds me of freeze flavor. pops, too, though. Freeze pops and Jolly Ranchers. Like a, this, again, this might just be me, but I almost taste like a cotton candy. Yeah, I can, right? I can see that. You know what I mean? I mean, look at the color difference, though, in yours and ours. Mine's well, a little it is, bit... Blue raspberry cotton candy, right? True. Is it? Maybe you let mean? it cool down a little bit and then taste it again. What do you mean it's blue right. raspberry cotton candy? Because isn't cotton candy that you get at like a carnival, isn't that blue raspberry flavor? That's the blue, when it's oh, yeah. literally oh, blue. I guess maybe. Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's the flavor sugar you use to puff it out. There's like a pink, there's a blue, there's a red, there's orange. Blue sure Blast. I like it. Yeah. Is it your favorite? Yes. Yeah. I'd say by I far. I think mango, then You'll this, then that. fruit punch for me. Blue Raz. 11.1 alcohol. Wow. Wow. 11.1. That's high. It Four Locos, what, 14? Yeah. 13.9 or 14. But yeah. it's a different flavor. This is, and this is also non carbonated. It says on the box. And these are gluten free. <laughs> yeah. Four so, Locos are I don't know. Not. I think I taste some gluten. Really? Uh oh. Better E-box. send it back. Better return it. I'm going to make Lawsuit. my way through this throughout the whole pod because I know we keep getting... Return to tangents. sender. Ready? Yep. yep. Here's one for our Buller as. When I was a kid, we were on holiday. So this must be uh, like UK or foreign. 
They call them holiday instead of vacation. Losers. Fucking losers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> losers. You as or die. I decided to go to a church. While we were there, I decided that I would be funny if I would slap my dad's ass with both hands. So I ran in full speed to maximize the impact of the slap. I ended up slapping a stranger who also happened to walk next to a woman with a stroller in his hands, which made me think it was my dad. It was even worse that my parents saw it as well. It's an unholy thing to do, my friends. It reminds me, when I was a little kid, I think we, I was like, you know, my mom was grocery shopping, and I walked up and like grabbed the wrong like woman's like arm or leg or something, and I looked up, and it wasn't my mom, and it like, terrified me. She have like you ever, looked, you know, she just looked like my mom or something. And I thought it was. Yeah. Have you ever just like walked up and started talking, thinking <laughs> it was like that? <laughs> so, oh, you're not so and so. Like, oh, have you seen these prices? And then she's like, what? Or like it's a guy or whatever, and like, hello? And like, oh, sorry. <laughs> and it's awkward because then you gotta just like shimmy your way out of the aisle. Not to get too far from it, but what's what's more awkward is when you're like, when you say, oh, like, have you seen these prices? And they're like, like, what's wrong? I don't know. Like, what's wrong with them? Like, they're they, high. Yeah, they're like, what's wrong? Like they they just like go they they go along with it, but the opposite. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know. No, I I, I, I agree. <laughs> 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 Stage seven, or the phase, or when you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, phase phase, know, phase stage seven. Stage. I think stage because like when I had the Mustang and like with Roush and stuff, they were I was like stage two tuning and stage three tunes. Yeah, so but this isn't cars. It's not cars, <laughs> but you could feed this. You could put this in the exhaust. <laughs> You probably could. You could run a car off this stuff. It's like gasoline. You know when someone tells you something, you're like, what? And they say it to you again, and you didn't hear them again, but then you're just like, you, you like just pretend. pretend. <laughs> like, yeah. And they're like, yeah, what? And yeah, then you're yeah. like, sorry, what did you say? <laughs> and they'll tell it for you. They'll tell it to you for like the third time, and then you still don't hear them. That's really, really that awkward. That happens to me a lot with um, like 7-Eleven owners. <laughs> Because <laughs> yeah. you can't understand. No, no, no. Oh. I just have trouble hearing. <laughs> Whoa. Them. Yeah, what are you talking about? 7 Eleven? I just been behind the glass. I can't hear well, them very true. well. <laughs> Why are they behind glass? COVID. Yeah, COVID was two years ago. I know. <laughs> There's no glass anymore. There's still Plexi glass. glass. There's still. Where? Um, I know, like, some uh, places. I, I Most of been the in a while, stations. but the liquor store over here, they had it forever. Yeah. The one by Burger King, do they still have the plexiglass up? I haven't been to that one in a while. Harry's. But the last oh yeah, the last time I was there, yeah, they had they had a, yeah, a screen. Like, get over it at this point. I, I don't know. There's probably more germs on that screen than if it wasn't there. I mean, <laughs> but then the entrance, like not the like the opening where you walk behind, it's completely open. So like hmm. I'm just gonna go like this and blow some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> blow some germs, yeah. Before before we uh we started the episode tonight. Um, I think it was just before you got here. Uh, Danny and I were talking about uh, video games and stuff. Um, I downloaded NHL 24 because they added that to Game Pass. So I just, you know, it's like free downloads. I don't have oh, to nice. buy the actual game. That's sick. So it was, it was, it was fun. We were just talking about stuff. But the the main the main uh, key point to take away from this was all the skins and extra downloadable content that video games are implementing into these like call of duty so right now in modern warfare you can play snoop dog <laughs> Nicki minaj really? yes that's kind of cool uh <laughs> the latest update is cheech and chong wow so which one <laughs> both both it's like a pack you can play both of them and you can smoke it yeah so and smoke and on pack. top of that you can buy skins for the guns you can buy skins for the bullets so like you can shoot with like confetti or laser lights poop when you shoot somebody <laughs> on the game funny. yeah that would be that was <laughs> real yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when you shoot someone instead of them just like falling down like in the old days they'll like explode into like mini cubes and like colorful it's just the the point is just not realistic yeah and a lot of us growing up with call of duty it's just not i like and you had said if you could like trace your face or take a selfie of your face and send it to the vision uh activision dot com or something and upload it and it could be your face on the military guy, I mean that would be cool, but like I want to see people in army uniforms, camo, gear, like gully suits, not I don't, Snoop Dogg or right. Flavor Flav. <laughs> right. Right. It doesn't make sense. We were talking for Fortnite, it would make sense because there's no rules in right. Fortnite. You could be anyone or anything. Last man standing. But yeah, in um 
in Call of Duty, it's like they're all war people. Like if you want to make Snoop Dogg like a war lord type of guy, go for it. But right. like it just will look funny. You know, it's like making Jonah Hill like a sniper. I just don't see it. Well, have you seen War Dogs though? Yeah, oh, yeah. Jonah Hill's we've talked about this before. Uh, but he just doesn't fit that part. But I haven't yeah, seen that so movie, good, so oh, I've heard it's good. It's so good, dude. But either way, it's like they're trying to turn Call of Duty into something that's not. It's cash grabs, like you said. Yeah. It's more money and money that most of us don't have. And it's just like a way for them. It's a money pit. And like I get it. Like people like games change. Like it's changing times. Like we got to get with it. It's like okay, that's fine, but make games for that. I'm playing Call of Duty because I want to play a military game. Like I want to go. Yeah, out you want to play Team Deathmatch, like, and you right. don't want to have to Capture throw a grenade at Nicki Minaj. Right. Blow her if you're up. playing some right. sort of like cooking game, then yeah, Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart. Oh yeah, sure. But, but yeah. putting Snoop Dogg in Call of Duty, come on, man. Yeah. And like when you're on multiplayer, like they're running around, and you see like Nicki Minaj. She's in like this. Uh, she's in pink, pink tube top, all skin basically, and then like a pink panty thong thing with like I think they're like leopard slippers. I don't know. It's it's Nicki Minaj. I think you can put like those gigantic sunglasses on. It's just stupid. Like she's the worst. I hate her. Yeah. I don't mean to be a Karen, but that's kind of offensive to military people being like. Yeah, no, oh, it is. Nicki Minaj, you know, let's be make her. A, I'm offended. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah let's make her an operative. I don't. Yeah, right. She would never, dude. If there was a draft, you know, how many people would run the opposite direction. Snoop Dogg wouldn't join the military if there was a draft. Are you kidding me? You know, put me in, coach. You have games like I NH- would join if Biden yeah. wasn't president. NHL. NFL, even like soccer games. MSL. You, yeah. <laughs> MSNBC. Right. No. ESPN. ESPN. ABC Family. <laughs> you don't see these skins TLC. coming in. You, 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 you can't play <laughs> like on the Patriots with Nicki Minaj and stuff. And Yeah, why is Call of Duty doing that? Fo- Fortnite is Fortnite. The, the original game, I won't get too geeky in this, but Fortnite itself was you were building a base, you kept upgrading your defenses, and there were zombies. That was the that was the point. Yeah, that was like the story OG, mode. OG, right, yeah. story mode. Then they introduced uh, Last Man Standing multiplayer. That's yeah, fine. Battle Royale. Battle Royale, yeah. right. That's Which fine. Which I love. Right. I love it. So And you can be whoever you want. You know, right. you can have a skin, you can be a girl if you want, you can be a guy if you want. Go for it. You can have wear fun. a suit, you can wear a bunny yeah. suit. You but can Call of Duty? Animal? No. It's a different story. <laughs> it's like an NHL. Right. You know, you said you downloaded the new game. Imagine if you could be freaking um, Cardi B, uh, Nancy Cardi Pelosi. <laughs> That's my yeah. usual go to. Yeah. I'd be like, hit me, <laughs> <laughs> slap, slap, shot my yeah, face. Yeah, getting fights with Nancy Pelosi dude. all the time, dude. Well, we and you and I were talking when we were watching Monday's game, but uh, they're coming out with a new one this year. It's a Gulf War theme. It's it's joining back to like the Black Ops uh, days. Okay. I kind of want to get it. I like Black Ops. Same. I, like I think I'll wait Same. for you to get it and let me know how it is. Absolutely. You're a little bit more critical on video games than I am because I don't know, but... I'm open to new things. It's just if it doesn't make sense, like Nicki Minaj. Like, I think the last game I... Come on. The last Call of Duty game I played or bought was probably Modern Warfare 3, which was like how so, long ago? Yeah. So they remade, <laughs> they remade 1, 2, and 3. 1 was phenomenal. 2 was all right. And then they came out with 3, which could have just been add-on content. I don't even think it was a remake. I think it was the original Modern Warfare 3 was the last... Like, like, Ten years ago, that uh, I no, no. They, so you're yes, but then they like uh, three years ago came came one, so they like remade it. So like they added a couple new maps, a new mm-hmm. storyline, but it was like totally redone, like three years ago. Okay. So it's like a remake of the original, and then last year they came out with two, or three, and this year they're gonna come out with the Gulf War. I'm talking about the original three. No, I know. Oh, so yeah, for you it was ten years ago. Yeah. But that, what I'm saying is Modern Warfare, the remake, if you will, like three or four years ago was phenomenal. Like it was it was, it was, was awesome. That's good. I'm glad they were able to make it good because sometimes remakes are like, Like eh. Rust. Like oh, Rust yeah. and like all the small Oh, yeah. Like What's shipment? the uh, airplay, airport one? Terminal. Terminal. That took them three games to come out. It's just, it's crazy. I love sniping at Terminal. Yeah. That, I mean, that, that's the thing. Everyone was begging for it. it. Never happened. Then they came out with Modern Warfare 3 last year. And it could have just been add-on content. Releases it as a full game. The campaign's like two hours long. That's like a... That's like a they're just kind of cheaping out on their end. Yeah. It's like you, could, yeah. like you said, it could have been an add-on, but they're like, oh, let's sell it as a whole new game. It's right. the same game right. with new stuff. Our generation and the people in like the 
OG uh, Call of Duty games. So mad. What was your favorite so Call of Duty? That's tough. Um, what was the what one comes where there was mind like first? Modern Warfare. Okay, yeah. for sure. What was, what was the one that had like a bunker in the middle and you can come in from four sides and there's just like grass on the outside? Um, look. Yeah, look it up for know. me. I can picture it. I, You're I'm, just thinking of a certain map? Yeah. In which game? Do I you don't remember. remember. There's a map, there's like a bunker where everyone ran in from four different sides. It doesn't capture the flag, I think. So I don't know if that. Would oh yeah, I, I know what you're. And there's grass about. on the outside, and you can like lay down and snipe from the grass, and no one could see you. There's a couple of containers out in the field, and there's just like a big circle map or or square maybe. But hmm. you know what I'm talking about? Was it a smaller, medium, large look. map? Uh, um, probably smaller. I maybe. know. I think I know which map you're talking about, but Not I can not remember Rust, which like, which game it was. I think you might be referring to Wasteland. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what it. I think it, it was. Yeah, because it's like. I think there's 100%. a, there's yeah, a cemetery yeah. in one spot of it, right? Yeah, it's it's like you there's said, like trucks or or containers you like can that, run into. Like, is that? Let me. Is this say? No, no, no that's it was more. It was there wasn't like it was what I said. It's this. Um, I think it was wasteland. Yeah, yeah, wasteland. Th- like that this. comes to mind. There's one. Yeah, exactly. There's one where it's like you're like running through like I don't know, I'm gonna say Pakistan. I don't know some like Middle Eastern looking town, and there's like three different floors you could run. Uh, that's like every map, but. That is terminal is obviously a classic. Oh my god, dude. Rust is it, dude? Rust playing knives only was so fun. Oh yeah, Not, uh, Rust was great, and Shipman was always fun. Did you guys ever play Counter Strike? Yep, on the computer. No, yeah, back never. in the day. Mike that was it. ruthless. I it. Ruthless. But you could, could you can like make your own maps and like we do like zero gravity, so you'd go out and just jump and you like wouldn't come back down. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, <laughs> that is fun. That was those were the days, man. I played it like I don't know. Five, six, seven, actually, no, probably eight or ten years ago now. Wow, oh, time flies. And after playing Call of Duty, it's like, it's so amateur, like, very beginner level, like, animation. I know. Once you play Call of Duty, it's like, it's so sick. I know. <laughs> and the new stuff, it just gets better and better. It looks so realistic. Graphic wise, amazing. Activision. Activision, Sledgehammer, and uh, there's one other company that. I honestly liked space. Treyarch better. Treyarch, that's the yeah. other one. Yep. I like them better. They used to switch off every other year. Activision yeah. did uh, Tony Hawk too, right? Yep. Yep. Activision was on board for a long time. Like an eyeball time. or something is your logo? Yeah, that, that's, yeah. Honestly, that's honestly where I got the idea. Really? Oh, the eyeballs, yeah, because it was like skate, punk. I knew you guys like surfed and like we talk about skateboarding all the time. But uh, yeah, like a lot of times, I was as a kid growing up, that was like what I would look forward to—the intro. And Activision always had a new intro video, so it would be their logo. But like someone would fall, or like a skater with a big eyeball as their head, yeah, you know, would yeah. Just yeah. Slip and fall. And then, <laughs> but it would always get stabbed by the the uh, like I don't know javelin thing. You know, okay. it'd fall from the sky, and then there was aliens. And but yeah, they were huge with the eyeball. I'm gonna. Have a little more juicy mango. <laughs> Do it, juicy mango. <laughs> Go for it, man. I'm definitely same phase, but further in the phase. <laughs> what are we? What, what, are we, what are we looking, guys? How long? We're at 45. 45 right? yeah. Okay. We've been chatting for 45 minutes. Usually we do 55. It's a good bad. Hey, I'm walking here. You know what? That just reminded me of. I started watching Everybody Loves Raymond. Oh, Again. great show. It's still on. Dude, like I night. was laughing so freaking hard. What's not, it's on like TV Land or. or it's Where on were something. We watching it. It's TV on TV a lot. Um, yeah, it was on, and I was like, you know, I haven't watched this in a while. It's pretty and funny. Ray Romano's b- classic. Yeah, it oh, brought yeah. me back to high school, you know, be, or like middle school. Because yeah. after school, I'd come home and I'd watch that show. Yeah. And, um, dude, just the, the humor was different. And the people in the crowd. Because I think it was a live audience. Oh, yeah, always. It was just like, like him complaining about being a husband and yeah. his wife like nagging, but she was like really cool at the end. I exactly. Don't know. And, and then his mom. Yeah. Oh, the mom was R. the R. best. P. His brother was. Super his dad funny. was my favorite character. Oh, yeah. His, his dad was yeah, really yeah, funny. Yeah, no, his brother's so funny. What's his brother's name? Um. So it, he's Ray. Isn't it Robert? Robert, yeah. yeah. Oh, come here, Robbie. And he's got the <laughs> deepest voice. And he, but he's like literally, Raymond. A, he's like a little kid. Raymond, how can you talk to mom like that? <laughs> yes. That was good. That was a good one. Yo, shout out to Walcock real quick. <laughs> 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 <He's> like, <laughs> Yo, I don't know this joke. Our boy, our boy Walcock. Oh God, you dude. didn't see the screenshots? Oh, yes, I did we have see a, those. We have a number one fan. His name is Andrew Austin. 
Austin. Walcock. His name is Austin. But he was on his dad's account, Andrew Alcock, but Alex thought it was Walcock. And How Alex, old was this guy? I think he's How old younger. are you, Walcock? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if it's if it's someone I know, you're a bastard because I don't know if it's someone from high school that's messing with us. Is. All right. Yeah. So it's Andrew Alcock. Uh, that's, 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 the, that's the screen name, but he said his name's Austin. It's his dad's account. Right. What's his social security? But Alex thought that Andrew, he thought it was like Andre Walcock w. or something. Double, so double W. <laughs> Alex commented back and said, much love, Walcock. And he goes, my name's actually Austin. <laughs> Sorry, Austin. Yeah. But yeah, dude. Number dude, one the, fan. I know. Austin Walcock. He's, <laughs> he's been commenting on all of our stuff lately. So honestly, if, if you're legit, thank you, man. Like, I hope you keep Even, following dude, us and keep watching. I, much, much respect, honestly. Yeah, giving us, giving us tons of uh, some love. Sometimes you don't know we if it's trolling it. or not. It's probably Danny. I know. <laughs> it's not me. You're like the I'm. Thing, wa- I'm the, the thing that makes cock. me think it's not like someone messing with us is it's the account says it's been active for twelve years. Yeah, wow, it's, it's a long time. Years, yeah, yeah. So they're probably like, uh, if I had to guess, I'm sorry if you're not. I'd guess like fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, yeah. I just hope it's not some scammer from like India. You know, they're giving us a bunch of love. Yeah. So okay, I'll take it. Yeah. They're asking why we don't have more subs, why we don't have more views. Like, Okay, as long as they're not trying to I sell us an extended warranty, then <laughs> nope. fine. The biggest thing no. for this person was like the quality of content. Right. And by that, I mean like David's editing is spectacular. Yeah. It's very professional. It's very well done. Right. Who? David. I know, I'm kidding. <laughs> David. Oh. David. David. David, put Danny in my hand. <laughs> when are you going to fly over here, man? We gotta get a. We gotta get Ireland's a Skype. not that far. It's like a five hour. Flight. We gotta get a Skype call soon with this guy. I'd love to meet him. No, we're face we're, to we're TV. going to. I don't face think he's real. I think Alex is is David. Yeah, I don't think so. You think I'm the one doing it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> David, prove pr- prove me wrong. He goes. Oh, th- we he we goes chat Danny. all the time. David says that you need to stop saying this. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually him. no. We're we're in contact all the time uh, on on WhatsApp. Yeah. No, I know, yeah. but we send voicemails, so I know he seems like a great guy. He's, he's awesome. done a great job so far, and really has honestly. Really yeah. thankful that he's. Taking I like. This on. I'm I'm not about gatekeeping. I'm really not, but he's so good, uh, and he just works so well for us. Like you want to almost keep it a secret because you don't want him to get too busy, but. I know, David, that you'll... If you guys know anybody in Ireland named David, do not ask him to edit your <laughs> no. videos. He's ours! No, yeah. we, we we started with him when he, like, when he, like, made it his full-time gig. Well, like, he's legit. He does a great job. He is job. legit. Well, he takes payments, payment in Guinness, so that's good. Yeah. How yeah, many Guinnesses yeah. have you sent him? <laughs> 800. Damn. Hundreds and hundreds, yeah. <laughs> Damn, that was no. just last week. <laughs> no, I think we've, I think we've, we've made our, we've made our. Cheers uh, to David. Yeah, cheers to you, man. Cheers, David. I'm in fi- phase, David, right now. Yeah. We I'm have a lot note. coming up. We have a lot um, coming up. Uh, in the next couple weeks and month, but we'll definitely get him on here. We'll do that Skype. We'll, we'll make it happen. Yeah, we we'll need to like wheel a screen over That's here. Like, what's and that yeah. TV show there. where they're like on wheels and they come in on like a on like a iPad? Um, Victorious, like, is it? Or yeah. iCarly or something? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. iCarly. It's like one of those. Yeah, it's like one of those. They wheel in on an iPad and they're like, "Oh, what, no, doesn't Andrew do or uh, Andy do that from the office or something?" I I, I picture him doing. It. I don't Andy know what it, what it was from. from. Office. I'll have to. Hmm. Does he do that? No. I think he does it in a different show. Or a different movie. He gets he wheels in and he's like, "What's going on, guys? I can't see." Anyways, shake it up. Well, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go <laughs> eat some wings, watch the Bruins, hopefully get a dub. And uh, Thursday is eleven a.m. Catch you next week. Yep. Uh, keep in keep up with us. Uh, merch is one hundred percent coming soon. I'm doing final details or final uh, corrections and we'll on love these you, prints. <laughs> And Walcock, Austin, you're the man. Shake it up. Cheers. Yeah, baby. Good night. What's up, baby? <laughs> yeah. Good night. The Martini Boys. The Martini Boys.